Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, I'm going to conduct a real world step count test on the Galaxy Active 2. And that's because I received many comments from you guys asking how accurate it is. So I not only wanted to test this device, but for comparison purposes, I also wanted to test the original Active Watch and the Galaxy Watch at the same time. So then we'll get a really good idea of which device is the most accurate. And for the test, I'm going to be using a manual clicker and recording each time I take a single step. I'm also going to be breaking the test into three intervals with a 100, 500 and 1000 step test for each of the devices. And then we're going to tally up the results and dive a bit deeper into the data. Now, one thing I will mention is that the three devices were not set at zero steps for this test. And that's because I already had mine on for the day. And number two, the watch active is actually my wife's. So I had to fight her to get that thing off her wrist. But nevertheless, all the tests were performed with a starting point and using that manual clicker. Okay, with all that being said, let's jump right into our step count test for the watch active, the Galaxy Watch and the Active 2. All right, guys, here is all the data. So let's have a closer look at the stats here. But what I will say is that overall, all the devices performed surprisingly well. The original watch active did have the highest difference rate at just over 1% for the 1000 step test with the Galaxy watch having the most accurate measurement of the three devices for that 1000 step count. However, the Active 2 also performed really well with under 1% difference in the longer 500 and 1000 step tests. But if you were looking at picking a winner based just on this data, the lowest percentage of differences is actually on the Galaxy Watch. Again, the difference between all of them are minimal and even more so between the Galaxy Watch and the Active 2. But as you can see, the Galaxy Watch does have the edge based on these stats. And keep in mind that all these stats are from my walking. So if you ended up jogging or running, then I would expect these numbers to be off. But for casual walking, these should be fairly similar to what you would experience as well. All right, guys, that wraps up my step count test for these three devices. Let me know if you have any questions about the test below. And as always, thanks again for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, take care. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.